Hi, hello everyone. Welcome you in the topic comparing quantities. The base of the comparing quantities was uh, percentage. And basically we understood about the percentage. Now we are going to understand the major part of uh, economics that is interest. That is simple interest and compound interest. Before this, in 7 standard or maybe in 6 standard, you must have learnt about simple interest. And in this year, we are going to understand about compound interest. Compound, it is, it is compound, okay, I'm sorry. Compound interest. We'll be discussing about compound interest. What is it exactly? All that we will understand. First of all, let us know about simple interest. Kya hota hai simple interest? Let's know. Our interest kya hota hai? You know that when you put some amount uh, in the bank or if you borrow some amount from the bank so if you put it put the amount in the bank and if you deposit it there the bank gives you some extra money for keeping the money with the bank is called as an interest when you borrow the money from the bank it's a kind of a loan then you have to give extra money to the bank than that of the borrowed amount is called as interest right interest also has got a rate in form of a percentage that's the reason this particular concept we have got in this topic of comparing quantities let's know let uh, we have kept some uh, let uh, 1000 rupees are kept in the bank for two years at the rate of interest at the rate 10 percent per annum per annum matlab per year annual we can say of course simple interest find karna hai. we have to find out a simple interest kya hota hai simple interest dekho uh, 10 percent of the thousand amount the principal okay thousand is called as a principal so it's cut 10 percent is called as a interest so interest will be equal to 10% of 1000 uh, that would be 10 upon 100 into 1000 zero, 00 get cancelled and we have 100 rupees in the limit interest but this is of one year this is of one year because it is 10% is a per annum I am asked for two years so this into two that means I to the second year ka wahi hoga 10% of 1000 that would be equal to 10 upon 100 into thousand and this can give us hundred rupees so the first year you get hundred rupees as an interest second year you get hundred rupees as an interest so the total interest i will be equal to 200 rupees the same thing can be solved by using a formula simple interest is equals to ptr upon hundred you must be remembering this ptr upon hundred p for principal which is one thousand T for time which is 2 year, R for rate which is 10 upon 100. So it's the same thing as we have done here. But only 2 has been multiplied to that. So we get here 0, 0 get cancelled with that, 10 into 10, 100 into 200 and we get a direct answer for simple interest as we got to know here. But why I split it you will come to know now when I solve with the compound interest, for the compound interest, okay. So you got it, what is simple interest? Simple interest is nothing but interest paid for the principal amount each year is nothing but a simple interest now uh, what the same amount is been kept for the compound interest what if if the same amount 10,000 year is also 2 rate is also same everything is same and it is kept for compound interest what it makes difference so for the first year I1 will be equal to 10% of 1000 which would be 10 by 100 into 1000 0, 0 get cancelled and it is 100 it's it remains same the i1 will be same jo pe. i2 is going to be equal to 10 percent of not thousand this time 10 percent of 1100 now how is that 100 they go try to understand after one year isn't it bank is going to pay you this much amount extra that means this amount belongs to you right if this amount belongs to you 
isn't it this amount also should be invested again back in the bank so next time the principal would become 1000 plus 1000 the amount is going to become principal in the next uh, go or next interest so to calculate the second year interest if i use even the interest to calculate the interest it is called as a compound interest so interest on interest is nothing but considered to be a compound interest so what is 10% of 1100 0, 0 get cancelled and it is 110 so total i will be equal to 100 plus 110 which will be 210 so you can easily understand the amount over here as a compound is 110 uh, 210 and simple interest is just 200 so of course compound interest is more than the uh, simple interest for sure but this is what is nothing but considered as a simple interest and this is nothing but the compound interest is this clear you may remember the formula for simple interest because you have already used it before this it is simple interest equals to ptr upon 100 okay p for principal the amount which has been invested or borrowed t is for time and r is for rate per annum compound interest we will be learning deep more better way in a later stage but right now understand it what the compound interest is uh, i hope you got it okay using the interest adding to the principal again that is been considered as a principal for the next year is called as a compound interest clear got it so that's it that's uh, that's so very simple so very easy to understand okay na? how about amount what do you mean by amount a is equals to principal plus interest is called as amount that means if i add a uh, principal which is 1000 plus interest if i add which is 210 this is going to give me the total amount 1210 so this is the amount which you are going to get after two years. That's what we call as amount. So this formula yaad rakho. Amount is equals to principal plus interest. In both the cases. Even in the simple interest, it is the same thing. Principal plus interest. So aaj ke liye jada kam nahi diya hai maine. Aapko bas itne tini questions complete karna hai. Aaj ka aaj ka video bahut chota ho gaya. Mujhe lagta hai kuch dus minute ka ho jayega video. Aapko karna kuch nahi hai. सिंपल इंटरेस्ट का एक सिंपल सा फॉर्मूला मैं आपको यहां पे लिख के देता हूं पीटीआर अपॉन 100 ये यूज करो एंड अमाउंट इज इक्वल्स टू प्रिंसिपल प्लस इंटरेस्ट ये यूज करो इन दोनों का यूज करके आपको तीन क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करने हैं फर्स्ट वाला क्वेश्चन फाइंड सिंपल इंटरेस्ट ऑन दिस फॉर 3 इयर्स एट द रेट 10% पर एनम इजी है फाइंड सिंपल इंटरेस्ट ऑन 15000 फॉर द 7 इयर्स एट 10% पर 5% पर एनम Okay. Uh, you can find amount as well if you want. Find interest on 5000 rupees at the rate of 10% per annum for the first year. Second year with the interest. That means it is compound interest. I am trying to give you the compound interest idea. With interest you have to find the second year. And with the second year's interest you have to find the third year. Clear? Got it? I can uh, give you the example. I can solve it. But I don't want that. I want you to understand it all by yourself. तो देखते कितना आपको ये समझ में आया ठीक है बेस्ड ऑन दिस हाउ मच यू अंडरस्टूड ओनली आई विल बी वर्किंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट वर्क और नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक तो आई डोंट नो हाउ मच यू नो अबाउट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट एंड कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट दैट्स अ रीजन आज का जो वीडियो है वो छोटा सा लिया है तो कुछ भी डिफिकल्टी है कुछ भी डाउट है कुछ भी इशू है तो मुझे बता दो कमेंट uh, के थ्रू और या फिर व्हाट्सएप मैसेज करो सो दैट आई कैन यू नो हेल्प यू इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग that particular concept clearly okay so thank you so much bye bye aaj ke liye itna hi bahut kam video hai bahut weird lag raha hai mujhe odd lag raha hai lekin kuch kar nahi sakte i want you to understand it properly fine thank you so much bye bye see you